Hi. So I know that you want to be healthy and you want to get in some vegetables and uh, you want to have a good organic vegetables and all of those wonderfully healthy things, right? But preparation of vegetables can be hard, right? Let me show you a gadget that might help and it's fun, okay? This is the gadget. This is called the Briefton's Quick Pull Food Chopper. And this size is the tall. They have three sizes. This one is the tall one. There's a smaller one. And then there's another one which is like double the size. So I am going to do an unboxing for you. And then I'm going to do a demonstration. So it comes in a really nice sealed box. This would be a great box for gifts. I like boxes that are easy to wrap up and present pretty. This is the container where all the chopping will take place. And I like that it has your ounces to measure on one side and on the other side you have milligrams. So you're good to go in any of the standards for measurements, okay? It has um, the pulling cord on this side and you see the activity that goes on down here. How cool is that? There you go. Easy to clean, wide mouth. That is very important. This really looks cool. And let me show you the rest of what comes in the box. You have your little pamphlet which gives you information and instructions on how to use this. And you know that I'm going to read it to see if the readability is up to par. So let's see. Let's just fix something here and how about this? Okay. Put the keep fresh cover on top of the bowl to keep foods fresh for longer or for storing in the fridge. Great, they did a good job. You get an A plus. Briefton's, I wonder if I'm pronouncing it correctly. Is it Briefton? Briefton? I don't know. But A plus for writing good instructions. That's so important. And now I'm going to show you the rest of what comes in the box, which is a little um, implement, which I believe is probably for stirring. I am going to try that out as well, whipping something, and then here is a storage lid. So I think that is really cool, you got your storage lid, so that you can use the same bowl, you know, after you've cut a bunch of stuff, for storage, alright? Yes, this is really good, I like this. Now let's go to the kitchen. All right, so I am ready to begin, and I am going to reposition the camera so that you can see down into what I'm doing. I have washed all of my implements, and I have read my instructions for the Briefton's Quick Pull Food Chopper, and I have one parsnip, which I have kind of peeled, and then I have a softer food, which is zucchini. So I am ready to go. Let's reposition that camera. We're going to start with the softer food first and basically the first thing you do need to do is to start that chop. So since this is a softer type of food, I don't have to chop it that small. I am going to just uh, try it with this size and we'll see what happens because I've never used this tool before, This the beef Briefton's quick pull food chopper is new for me. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in here. It has a little square and another little square. You put them in place and that is good to go. Now I put them, I think, I don't, I don't know, why, why, why does it fall? Okay, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Maybe it's this. I don't know what this is. I think this is just pretty. I don't know what this is. Let's try that again. Okay, so I have cleaned all... I have cleaned all of my implements. I'm ready to go. I have chopped these softer vegetables, which these are zucchinis. Chopped them up. A little bit not too much and then I'm gonna put this in here I'm not exactly sure I'm doing it right 
because I didn't do a very thorough read. But I would put that in there, and but you know why I didn't do a thorough read? Because nobody does. <laughs> so this has to be like you would do it at home. Do you read your instructions thoroughly? Or you just kind of go, gan glance through them and say, I must be doing this right. Okay, so here we are. And I've just tried to put a, a little bit in there to see how it works. And now I'm going to pull this cord. Oh my gosh, this reminds me of those dolls that I used to have when I was a little girl where you pulled the cord and it would talk or it would cry. Okay, let's see. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is very easy. Oh, yes. Look at that. Two fingers. Oh, I love this. Ha, ha, ha. Very easy. Okay, so this is good. I like this. Ah, I like this toy. Now we're going to try a harder vegetable. The more you pull the cord, the smaller you're going to get that uh, vegetable to come out. So now I'm going to go ahead and try a harder vegetable. Let me spoon this out. Okay, so you guys know what I'm having for lunch today. <laughs> I'm having my vegetables for sure. Okay, now I'm going to try the parsnip. You know, I don't know, how do you say parsnip in another language? It's not a carrot. I don't know how you would say it like in Spanish. Like, How would you say parsnip in Spanish or in French or in any other language. I don't know. All right, so I'm going to put this in here and I am going to try this one. Now, since this is a harder vegetable, I'm going to cut it. Let's try it just a little bit. I don't know, a little smaller. But I don't want to make it too easy because then I feel like, well, might as well just keep chopping on my own, right? So, I want a tool that's going to make me work less and not double. Now this might be a little too much, so I'll chop that in half. And I think I might leave this one. No, I don't know. I'll leave it and see if it can handle that size. Because if it does, that's not bad. This must be excellent for making sofrito. I have no idea how to say that in English, but sofrito is when you mix onions and garlic and uh, uh, what do you call this, uh, I think it's mint that goes in it or depends on what you want, but it's like a pesto. If you want to make a pesto, this tool would be the bomb. I'm going to go ahead and put this in here and I love that it's manual. I love that you're doing a, a favor to the earth because you're not using electricity or any other energy that you don't need. So why use it? <laughs> so here we go. We're going to try this one now. I'm going to go ahead and set it down. I did not put a lot. I'm going to set it, set it down and let's see. Let's make it rock and roll. Okay. So it's a short one. I say that with harder vegetables, you might have to do shorter ones. I'm having problems. It's a little too tough. So I'm going to try and set it down again. It might have gotten stuck on that. I'm going to try it one more time. And if that just doesn't work for me, then I might have to rechop those vegetables because they are harder into a smaller size. So I've repositioned it again. And here we go. Well, Oh, it's spinning but it's not cutting gotta get this in here so that's the only thing that I am finding a little inconvenience I wish it would just snap into the lid but I don't see that it does I'm gonna try it again okay a little better but no it's it's a little too hard for me now I have very weak hands I've always had extremely weak wrists and hands I have very little strength in my hands but yeah, 
This caused a little bit of difficulty because it's harder. So I would have to go back in and cut these vegetables a little smaller and see if then it allows me to get them into a small chop. Uh, there is one recipe that I can share with you. If you were using this and carrots, I don't know how it is with parsnip, but I, I know that this is the same texture as carrots, so I'm going to tell you. You get and you make your rice, right? But you cut your carrots into this type of size right here. You cut your carrots like that and you make it to get, you put it into the rice as you're making your rice. You put in um, some flavoring, however you want to flavor your rice with either beef stock or um, vegetable stock. And you put a little bit of butter and you put a little bit of um, saffron. And oh my gosh, that is the best rice that there is. You would not believe it. Oh, and onions. You put, uh, cut up onions. Everything you cut up small. And it flavors that rice like there's no tomorrow. And it's so easy. It's such a satisfying recipe for some reason. It just makes a great combination. So I'm going to go ahead now and put these in here. Hopefully it'll be easier. Uh, to chop, yes, the harder vegetable um, is not easy for me to chop if I leave it large. And this will be my final attempt because at this point I've already chopped them pretty small. So with the harder vegetable, oh, okay, yeah, <laughs> that's good. And it's not hard once you cut it to a smaller size. Look. You have an easy pull, and the more you pull, the smaller the size of your cut. This is really good. Oh, I like that. Oh, I would love to be able to use this with the... It'll save me a lot of time, even though I had to cut it a bit smaller. It will save me a lot of time if I'm doing that rice recipe, even though I'm not doing it for myself because I don't eat rice. But... My family and friends would definitely enjoy it. That's a great cut. Now I'm going to show you the little whipper. I don't know what, exactly how that works, but I'm going to show you. Okay, I have my ingredients here, and I also have ingredients that I'm not going to be using because I've already had my serving for the morning. I love this. Um, this is collagen, and it is a protein. It's supposed to be good for you. Um, I personally take it in the hopes that it'll help me with my own collagen production, but in all honesty, it's just hopes because there hasn't been any scientific proof that I've been able to find that it works, but I love hoping, so I keep taking it. <laughs> um, I also put my MTC oil, which is uh, caprylic and capric acid. <clears throat> excuse me, that comes from the coconut oil. So it's a way of getting the benefit of the coconut oil in a very um, concise and compressed way. And, and then you are, I put the coconut oil as well, and I love this brand, Nature's Way. I put the coconut oil too because I happen to just love the taste of coconut oil. So <clears throat> I use this one. <clears throat> excuse me. In addition to that, I use a little bit of whipping cream every so often, and this is the one I like. It's organic. I like to use as many organic products as I can, and I do omit the butter. The reason I omit the butter is because I feel it's just extra calories that I don't need. I am getting the uh, ingredients that I need for my health benefits from the coconut oil and from the MTC oil. I am only doing this for my taste buds <laughs> and this for hope <laughs> so let's put it together and see what happens I've already put in my ingredients I'm not using my collagen because I've already had my serving so I'm putting in the other ingredients in here and I'm gonna now put in that coffee I'm wondering if the heat of the coffee is gonna be okay for this I'm gonna put in some coffee Let's put 
in a little more and a little more i love my coffee you guys know that you guys know that i love my coffee and, oh not this one this one and now let's see if i can get this to oh gosh that's the there must be maybe i'm doing something wrong i'm gonna have to read that because this cannot be the way A little slippery. Got all that oil on my hands. Okay, here we go. We're ready. Come on, baby. Oh, I didn't close it properly. Well, I didn't close it properly, and yeah, you can see I'm sliding all over the place with that coconut oil. But yeah, it's already getting its little frothy. Let's see. I can't open it. Slip and slide time. All right, I need to get a paper towel. I'm sliding all over. All right, so here we go. And that's the amount of froth you're going to get. It's not as frothy as if you had put it in a high-speed blender. But honestly, I, I just don't like having to use that blender to make this. So let's go sit down and talk about the rest of the review. Okay, so I have to tell you right off that, yes, I was making a mistake. The designers of the Briefton's food shopper knew exactly what they were doing. I didn't read. Okay, so there is a little pin on the bottom and there's the little shape so that you can insert it into the pin and then it stays, you know, firm. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it in here directly, not upside down. So see, that is, and now I'm gonna show you the other one, the little whipper blender it has the top for the lid, I guess, and this one. So I'm gonna do it now. <laughs> Stay right there. So I'm a fool. You still have to align the lid so you can put it here, but it's much easier when you use the pin on the bottom. Sorry, don't take instructions or people for granted. I learned, I learned. So I've got to say, this is really nice. I like it. I like it because I don't have to be using my electricity. This is more earth friendly. I like it because I rather use this to whip and cut. This is excellent for my coffee blend in the morning. This is excellent for my um, pestos and other little finely chopped things like what we call a sofrito and um, which is really delicious to add flavor to your food, but you gotta chop things real small. So I like it for that, and I just think it's great. I personally think that their idea of that lid for storage after you use it, you take this all out, and then you use the lid, which I left in the kitchen. <laughs> Let me go get it. Okay, so this is perfect because I love that I can put it in here like this and put it in the refrigerator and I have my stuff ready to go. So I can cook in advance, which I do a lot, so I have more time. And look at the nice cut that I got for my vegetables and I can now enjoy my coffee. It's not turn on the blender. And I thank you for watching this review of the Briefton's or Briefton's Quick Pull Food Chopper. <laughs> Please subscribe. Oh, I would love it if you would like my video. And thank you so much. Have a wonderful day full of peace, harmony, and joy. Thank you. Bye-bye.